The best way to optimize your path when reversing is overshooting a vehicle that you intend to park behind because of a better viewing angle and a little extra space to avoid dry steering. Overshoot slightly until your side mirror aligns with the front end of the vehicle next to you. Start moving without turning and when the two rear bumpers align, turn left while coordinating your speed and steering ratio. Continuation of movement will provide more precise control and the ability to modify your path when needed. By this point, you should finish steering to the left. When you get to an approximately 45 degree angle, start turning right while maintaining low speed movement. You can only accurately predict the course of your path if you turn the steering wheel while the car is moving slowly. I use these magnifying mirrors. They are accurate, they are inexpensive and you can purchase them through the link in the description. Watch until the end of the video for a bonus tip. Let's recap now how to position your car properly to reverse parallel park. Start turning as soon as the two rear bumpers align. Synchronize your movement and steering. If you go any sharper than 45 degree angle, you are probably going to hit the curb. Pay close attention to your side mirrors as they provide an accurate picture of your position. You are allowed to use a reverse camera in your driving test in Australia, but don't overuse it. Most people who struggle with reverse parallel parking tend to steer statically. Static turning can limit vehicles maneuverability, especially in tight spaces while doing low speed maneuvers. Because if you steer and don't move, you're not going to know where your car is going. Thank you for sticking around so far. Here is a bonus tip as promised. Curbs, speed bumps and uneven surfaces on the road can cause a significant change in the course of actions needed. You have to watch your movement. Once you hit the bump, you may need to tap the accelerator pedal gently, but make sure not to over accelerate. It's a more complex task when driving a manual transmission car. More on that topic in the video I put in the description. You would not believe how many learner driver candidates fail their driving tests both in automatic and manual transmission for losing control, for over accelerating and not managing to stop in time. If the examiner gives either verbal or physical assistance, they terminate the assessment. A lot of people make mistakes while they're using the three-line method when they're reverse parking in the driving test. They would stop around there, but the mirror has never got to the third line. If they see the mirror lining up with the line, that's wrong, okay? You have to get to the actual line, okay? So your mirror must be lined up physically with the line if you want to use that method. 